Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to cure your resin in the sun. This is a great alternative if you don't have an oven or if you're just looking for a different way to cure your resin. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. 1. What is resin? Resin is a natural or synthetic compound that is typically used for its sticky properties. It is often used as an adhesive or sealant, and it can be found in products like chewing gum, glue, and varnish. Resin can also be used to create solid objects like jewelry and furniture. In its natural state, resin is a sticky, amber-colored substance that is secreted by certain trees. When the bark of these trees is wounded, the resin helps to heal the wound and prevent further damage. Over time, the resin hardens and turns into amber. Today, amber is still used in jewelry and other decorative objects. Synthetic resins are made from materials like petroleum and coal tar. These resins are less brittle than natural resins, and they can be molded into a variety of shapes. Common synthetic resins include polyethylene, polystyrene, and PVC. 2. What are the benefits of curing resin in the sun? One of the main benefits of curing resin in the sun is that it can help to improve the strength and durability of the finished product. The ultraviolet rays of the sun help to harden the resin, making it less likely to break or crack. In addition, sun-cured resin tends to be more resistant to water damage and wear and tear. Another benefit of curing resin in the sun is that it can help to improve the aesthetic properties of the finished product. The sun can help to bring out the natural colors and patterns in the resin, giving it a more vibrant and attractive appearance. Ultimately, curing resin in the sun is a simple and effective way to improve the quality of your finished product. 3. How can you cure resin in the sun? There are a few ways to cure resin in the sun. One method is to place the item in direct sunlight for several hours. The heat will cause the resin to harden, making it easier to scrape off. Another option is to use a hairdryer in the highest setting. Hold the hairdryer a few inches away from the resin and move it back and forth until the resin becomes hard. Once the resin is hard, it can be chipped or scraped off. With either method, it is important to work slowly and carefully to avoid damaging the surface beneath the resin. 4. What are the risks of curing resin in the sun? When it is exposed to the air, it quickly hardens and turns into a solid. Resin has a wide range of uses, including as a sealant, adhesive, and varnish. It can also be used to make jewelry, buttons, and other decorative items. Many people enjoy working with resin because it is relatively easy to use and quick to harden. However, there are some risks associated with curing resin in the sun. First, the heat from the sun can cause the resin to soften and become tacky. This makes it difficult to work with and can result in a poor quality finished product. Second, the sun can cause the resin to discolor, making it less attractive. Finally, curing resin in the sun can release harmful toxins into the air, which can be dangerous to breathe in. For these reasons, it is important to take care when curing resin in the sun and to be aware of the potential risks involved. 5. How will you know if your resin is cured correctly? When cure times are given, they are averages based on the amount of UV light that the resin is exposed to, as well as the type of resin used. However, there are a few factors that can affect how long it takes for your resin to cure correctly. For example, if you are working in a dimly lit room, your resin will take longer to cure than if you were working in direct sunlight. Additionally, thicker layers of resin will take longer to cure than thinner ones. Ultimately, the best way to tell if your resin is cured correctly is to perform a touch test. Gently press your finger into the surface of the curing resin. If it leaves an indentation, it is not yet cured. If the surface is firm and does not yield to pressure, then your resin is cured correctly. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped you to understand the benefits of curing resin in the sun and how to do it safely and effectively. If you're interested in learning more about working with resin, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have a wealth of information on all things resin, from beginner tutorials to advanced techniques. We can't wait to share our knowledge with you and help you create beautiful pieces that will last for years.